Everyday Heroes. Waitress gets scholarship after helping senior citizen. A waitress at a Texas Waffle House is getting a $16,000 US dollar scholarship after she did something awesome. Diner Adrian Charpentier had just come out of surgery and was having a hard time cutting up his ham. That's when 18-year-old waitress Ivoni Williams went out of her way to help him. She cut up his food and got back to work. But that act of kindness was snapped by diner Laura Wolf and shared to Facebook. Before Williams knew it, she was a social media hero and got a scholarship from Texas Southern University for her kind act. Williams was working at the Waffle House to pay for college. Looks like that plan worked out big time. Kind Heroes Faith in Humanity Restored As wildfire devastated more than 90 acres of land in California, one man's random act of kindness toward a helpless creature instantly made him everyone's hero. The man had pulled over along Highway 101 near La Conchita after spotting a rabbit near the edge of the blaze. The animal darted into a burning bush, prompting the frantic bystander to jump up and down in a panic before rushing toward the inferno. He then reaches for something in the flames, eventually getting hold of the frightened bunny and carrying it to safety. A news photographer had filmed the daring rabbit rescue, which quickly went viral and made everyone and their mother collectively awe. The hero reportedly declined to be interviewed, but that didn't stop netizens from weighing in and piling on the praise for his selfless stunt. Kind-hearted California cops raised 45,000 k to give teen a better future. The Benicia California Police Department is being hailed for its kindness after helping to raise nearly $45,000 to help out a hardworking teen. Four months ago, Jordan Duncan was down on his luck. His vehicle broke down, meaning he had to trek five hours daily to and from work. Benicia PD officer Kirk Keffer spotted Duncan one night and asked him what was going on. Duncan told him about his car and how he was walking to work and trying to pay for car repairs and college. Inspired by the 18-year-old's work ethic, Keffer went to his local officers association to see if they could help. And help out they did. They got him a cool new bike to help with his commute to work. They also set up a GoFundMe page to help with Jordan's future. And it's received some $45,000 in donations from across the U.S. Because of that, Jordan was able to get a new car and now drives to work. And that's not all. Jordan is reportedly now studying to be a California Highway Patrol officer. So who knows? Maybe one day he can do the same for someone else down on their luck. There's hope for humanity yet. Two New York State troopers went above and beyond the call of duty when they paid out of pocket for a woman to attend the funeral of a close family friend. Jordana Judson had rushed to the airport sobbing after finding out her friend had been a victim in the Parkland, Florida tragedy and was noticed by two concerned officers. Troopers Robert Choi and Thomas Karadzinski escorted her to the JetBlue ticket counter, but the distraught 23-year-old could not afford the $700 one-way ticket. Thankfully, Troy and Karadzinski stepped in with their credit cards to pay for her flight, despite her insisting that they didn't have to do it. The good deed met Judson made it back home in time for the funeral and was able to grieve and support heartbroken family members. Many were moved by the troopers' acts of generosity, including JetBlue, who said Tuesday that they would be refunding the cost of Judson's ticket. Nice to see there's good in the world after all. Cop pulls teen from burning car. It's 2.30 a.m. on January 28, 2018, and an Oakland County deputy is in pursuit of a speeding 18-year-old driver. This chase seems boilerplate, but things are about to heat up, drastically. When the driver tries a left turn, he loses control and crashes into some trees. To make matters worse, his car catches fire. When the deputy arrives, he switches from pursuit to rescue mode. The 26-year veteran officer uses his baton to smash the car's sunroof and then hauls the 240-pound suspect to safety. If the officer didn't act as he did, this driver would have been toast. The driver reportedly smelled of alcohol and weed when the police found him. He was treated for a possible broken leg and other injuries following the crash. The officer, who remains unidentified, was praised for his actions. According to the Detroit News, the suspect was arrested for DUI and fleeing and eluding police. He was released pending further investigation, blood test results and criminal charges. Ready where I go. 